Welcome back to Disney's Art of Animation Resort. We are touring our last family suite that we need to see, and it is themed to the animated classic, The Lion King. That is actually the only one I've never stayed in before. Uh, so we call these remodeled room tours because the rooms were slightly remodeled, some minor differences um, maybe from when you stayed here. I know Personally, I know from when they opened, the room's very different, but I know they changed some things uh, long before they did this floor. But this is the new floor, and I actually really like it um, because it's textured and interesting, and it, it keeps the theme of the room. Um, so, the, so far, the only one we didn't like was uh, cars. We didn't like what they did to the floor because they just went black and gray, and it's kind of boring. Um, but the rest of these look good. So, uh, here we have... Uh, Art of some birds, and there's probably some of you at home are like, where, where are the birds from in the movie? Well, uh, and I just can't wait to be king. Uh, the very colorful uh, musical sequence from the film. Uh, these birds appear. And they uh, Disney decided to lean pretty heavily into that, at least for this room. Uh, the, I would say both, both living spaces are themed to that particular uh, musical sequence, which gives them... Um, a lot of color, which is good. Everything's not just green and brown. And so you got these guys here and these guys on this uh, table, which you can eat at, do other activities. And of course, there's going to be a bed in there. Um, so let's just go ahead and do that. Well, first, let's look at these chairs. I like, I like these chairs with the, the leaf on the back. It's very nice. So let's slide these out of the way so we can open up the bed that's in here so as you can see uh, this is fun there's someone in Pumbaa like to eat bugs this is where you might eat so there is a little trail of bugs coming out of a hole and going down the tree it's fun That is cute. How cute. It's colorful and oh, that's great. Um, an interesting choice. I'm surprised I didn't do uh, Simba as a kid considering the theme of the room, but I like this art a lot. Uh, of course, you can adjust the light with this dial here. You can turn it up and down and off if need be. There we go, there's off. And you can turn it up and do whatever you need with that light, with that little dial there. Ooh. On both sides, you have uh, these end tables above them, two standard and two USB outlets. Again, that's on both sides of the bed here. Let me take a better look at this unit. Some storage space there, not a lot. There's a little cubby and a drawer. Okay, we're going to come into this space here. Uh, so, oops, I left my cup. Hold that. Uh, so, this is our kitchenette. Uh, there's some shelf space up here if you need it. We have a microwave. We have uh, paper and plastic uh, bowls and plates and plastic cutlery. The ice bucket is there. We have a sink, which is nice to have. We have our Cuisinart coffee maker. There's uh, paper towels there. There's going to be a minimal amount of storage under the sink as well along with extra paper towel uh, we have a nice size fridge here excuse i do have something in there so you guys don't think they left something behind i actually didn't realize there's a tiny uh tiny little freezer at the top which i guess you could if you have microwavable frozen things you can bring them with you or, or order them and if you need a snack for the room. Uh, there's more, some more uh, iconic art from I Just Can't Wait to Be King, the giraffes. 
Uh, we got this super cool light, uh, light and lamp um, with these colorful flowers. <clears throat> you can see all this vine, the vine wrapping around it. Very cute. And this, of course, as we talk about in the other rooms, is a foot pedal. The room phone is there. And uh, the curtains have uh, a jungly pattern with flowers. Oh, there you go. There's a lot of light in here now. Let's open these up. There we go. Okay. So, I'm going to talk about this chair for a minute. If this chair looks familiar, it is because it is the same one from the Nemo room in shape. It's different in color. Uh, I am sad about this because originally the rooms had hippo chairs and it looked like the hippo had an open mouth and you sat in the hippo's open mouth again, kind of out of the sequence from the movie. I just can't wait to be king. Um, it's a shame that they kind of nuked that. I think people said they weren't comfortable and adults really couldn't sit in them. Um, so in the end, they just ordered these generic green chairs. It's very sad. Uh, we have a dresser in here with uh, two smaller drawers at the top. Two larger drawers underneath that. Uh, of course, they changed all this. The TV now mounted on the wall. And uh, that allowed them to take a shelf off here and put in this new piece that has your uh, two standard and two USB each on each side. Uh, we have a doorless closet essentially over here. Your extra pillows and blankets are up there. You have hangers to hang stuff over here. And we have a nice big drawer down here which does have some extra pillows. Uh, the lights, uh, I think they're supposed to be clouds. I think that's the idea. I think they're clouds in this room. And uh, we are going to pull out this bed in a moment. But I will tell you my favorite little thing about these rooms. I'm going to put this cup back so I can walk around more freely. Are these. These uh, tables slash stools. You might be like, well, what's so great about them? Well, number one, they look like little logs. But what I think is great is that the art, the art they made for the top of these. We're going to sit down and take a look at these. So this one says Hakuna Matata, and going all around it are all of the lyrics to the whole song, going around the whole uh, log. It's really fun. And then they did the same on this one, but it's I Just Can't Wait to Be King. These are great. Cute little, cute little touch. I'm gonna slide these out of the way now. I don't think these are original either. I might be wrong. I have to look. Again, I didn't stay in here originally. I remember the hippo chairs. Um, if people talked about them, but I'm not sure those are the original little tables either. Okay, so let's open this guy. handles right here there it is all right Ooh. again you're usually supposed to do this with two hands i'm doing it with one that's probably why it's not opening correctly but i got it also it kind of should be it should be lined up it should be centered with that you see it's a little off usually you're supposed to push it a little more centered with that so that's right above you um these are comfortable enough. I think I've said this every time, but in case this is your first one you're watching, um, I'd make the kids sleep on this. I think in, in the end, um, an adult, one adult might be more comfortable on there, but if there's two more adults in the room, I think this will fit them. Um, is it going to be the most comfortable night's sleep you ever had? No. Um, but it's not the worst. It's fine. Just for the price you're paying for the room, you might... <laughs> Want to sleep on a real mattress? I get that. I should probably leave that open. I have to take photos. 
Okay. So, I know I destroyed this room now. Let's go, let's go destroy the next room. Here we are, uh, right off of there. We're coming here to the primary bedroom. Uh, again, no closet with door, so everything just in the corner here. You have your luggage rack, iron, ironing board, hangers, uh, safe, extra pillow and blanket, all here. Uh, same unit as inside. They did the same thing. They ripped off the top and put in the uh, USB and standard outlets up top and mounted the TV to the wall. So as you can see, the other thing they did, they got the new bed frames that are off the floor. So you can, <clears throat> excuse me, put a bag <clears throat> under there if you'd like. More two. Same thing, we have a window here. We're not looking over anything particularly great. We're at the back of the building. Uh, these lamps are fun too. They have the little vine growing around. So they did the same thing here. They, they ripped the top level off and they decided to mount the lamps onto this thing, which has USB outlets down here, two regular up there. They're very cute. Again, reminiscent of that particular scene in the movie. Same little end units, otherwise. Two of those. And, and uh, there is this, like, forgotten corner in every room, but I think, again, it's just more space for bags. If you're staying here, you probably have two children or, or more likely more than that. And so uh, maybe just a lot of thought into just leaving you some space to put stuff. Um, you know, if you're going to be putting a lot of people in this room, and it is smaller than a DVC room, so it would make sense there'd be a little more dead space to put more stuff. Uh, for the headboard, we have Zazu. I'm going to move these pillows so we can see this better. There we go. Very colorful, super cute. A great headboard. That's this bedroom. Oh, we didn't even go in the other bathroom. I walked completely past it. Uh, so this is the uh, <clears throat> primary bathroom. Here's a cute little jungly light up here. We have a pretty plain mirror. It just has some leaves and some bugs on it. Countertop with some jagged edges to give it more of a natural feel. You have illuminated makeup mirror. Soaps there, lots of towels. Uh, there's the toilet, uh, towel racks, and then our shower is very pretty, very pretty tile with the sunrise from uh, the opening in the Lion King and I guess the end of the Lion King too, right? Or is it at the end? No, it's only at the beginning. I'm thinking the end of uh, Circle of Life and Environmental Fable, I think. Um, that's what I'm thinking about. But yeah, no, from the opening of the Lion King film, probably both the live action and the animated because the live action is just the same movie. Uh, mountain amenities. Yeah, it's a nice enough, nice enough shower. All right, we got to go look at the other bathroom. I, can, I just walked by it. We went all out of order. All out of order. Uh, so yeah. That's a nice reflection we have of the sim bar, isn't it? Uh, same thing, same mirror, same light. Uh, the uh, hair dryer's down there. And uh, how adorable is this shower curtain? We have Timon and Pumbaa enjoying a waterfall. Very colorful. Other than that, the, the toilet. See, so I usually complain when, when bathrooms don't have art because I'm like, I just, you know, it'd be nice if the room had a splash of color or something interesting going on. I think these get a pass because in all four rooms, the uh, curtain is very colorful and, and pretty and covered in art. So uh, it does meet my toilet art requirements. Uh, knowing that the kids are going to be in here, most likely because there's a tub. Uh, they put the, the sunrise 
uh, lower. And the other, it's higher in the other one because it's most likely where the adults are going to be. It's also a shower, so someone's going to be standing there. Uh, not that this doesn't have a shower, because it does. But it's just nice. I like these colorful showers. I, You know, I feel like we all, almost all of us probably have a mostly white or beige um, shower or bath at home. I like when the Disney hotels give you a splash of color in them. It's something, you know, out of the ordinary. makes you feel like you are. You're definitely someplace different. Yeah, so that is a Lion King family suite here at Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Um, it's one of the ones they have, of the family seats, it's the one they have the least rooms because it's only two buildings. Um, and there's no pool between. So you are the furthest you could be from any pool at this resort. But um, you're pretty close to the main building. You're, you're uh, good proximity to the dining uh, options and the main lobby. Uh, the only thing closer is Nemo, and even then, I think I think most rooms at Nemo are actually technically further um, from the from the lobby than we may be from a number of rooms uh, in these buildings as well. Again, so you, your proximity pool wise, you're you're going to be closer to either uh, the Big Blue Pool or uh, the Mermaid Pool, uh, depending which end you're at. We're all the way at the end uh, towards the Big Blue Pool. We're near the lobby. So I, I actually have a nice short walk to the lobby if I want to get a refill of a soda or whatever. But yeah, again, uh, Lion King Family Suite at Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Hakuna Matata, everybody.